Yes, yes, people, welcome back to Transfer Talk on this episode. Could be the best episode yet in terms of the name and calibre of the player linked to Newcastle United. If we manage to get this lad in, it is going to be an absolute game changer for us going forward. He would literally come in and change the stature and the quality of this club, this playing 11 overnight. It is Moussa Diaby. Moussa Diaby from Bayer Leverkusen, the young, tricky French winger, 22-year-old, already in the France side. Amazing talent. He's had an unbelievable season in the Bundesliga with Bayer Leverkusen. 17 goals, 14 assists, tremendous stats, impact on the pitch. Best thing about him is he's versatile. He can play across the front three, he can play on the left, on the right, or down the middle. Provides that attack and goal threat, both to set up his teammates and to score the goals himself. He is nearly a complete winger at the age of 22, and in that France squad already, and doing bits. Price tag is the only thing that is stopping Newcastle as it stands. Now, as we can see from what Pete Graves has said, and everyone else has said it as well, talks have been ongoing for a while now with Bayer Leverkusen and Diaby. Trying to tempt Diaby into the project because he has said that he wants to play Champions League football. He has said his dream is to play for Real Madrid one day, but they always say they want European football. Of course they do. That's what the best players want. But if you can buy them into it like we have done with Bruno and Botman, I can see Diaby coming. I could see him coming. I mean, 60 million, that price tag is massive. But if you break it up through installments, if we did get like a Broyer on loan as a striker, that would allow us to really pump the cash, the rest of it, of this transfer kitty for this window on Diaby, on a winger. And just what a winger it would be. It would be one of the most exciting signings in many years for Newcastle for me for this one. I really wanted Botman through the door this summer. I did that video of five players in Newcastle could sign this summer, so make sure you check that out. Um, but Diaby was right up there, right up there with Botman. You know, we needed that solid young centre-back to grow with the club, to grow with the project. But we need goals. We need players up top. We've got Wilson, but he's, he's injured a lot. We know he's not going to complete a full season. Just hasn't got his in him. Hasn't His body hasn't got it in him. So we need that flair and that consistency and that end product from another from another direction. And that would be Diaby. You know, Diaby from the wing could offer us a lot going forward. He, he's versatile. He's attacking. He's got flair. He's got pace in abundance. Knows what to do on the boys. Very smart with his decision making in the final third. He's an unreal talent. It just gets you well excited, this one. It is an absolute game changer if we manage to get Musa Diaby through the door. Like I said, 60 million, big, big money. It is. A, it could be the stumbling block. It has been so far. But if we put up the cash for him, he'll be here for years and he's only going to get better. I mean, the potential with Diaby is huge. And he's got a World Cup coming this winter. If he has a good World Cup with France and plays a star and role as expected, and you expect France to go far in the World Cup, that price tag is going to go from 60 million to 100 million real quick. Real quick, his value will go up. So it'd be wise to get him in now. Maybe Diaby might want to stay just so he's guaranteed that spot in the France squad for the World Cup. Maybe by Leverkusen have that mindset of we will get a lot more money in the next window or next summer if he does manage to stay at uh, Leverkusen. But they are open offers. Diaby is open to a move, to be fair, that has been said. So you could see him moving this window, definitely. Could see moving this window. Really hope it is to Newcastle. I really hope we can get this one over the line, man. This would be an outrageous signing. Absolutely buzzing if we got this blow again. I mean, DRB in Newcastle, man. That would be massive. One of the hottest talents in Europe. One of the best young players in Europe. But it's not one where you think he's going to grow into that player. He's pretty much already that player. He's already doing bits. You know what I mean? The amount of goals and assists he's getting. He's a massive talent. And if we could get him... It's a real marquee signing, that, like, really, really big signing, statement signing. So we'll see how it progresses. Talks are ongoing. Can we try and get a fee sorted? There is other attacking options for Newcastle in the winger positions, but he is by far one of the best ones. There's already a few videos on the channel on Diaby, so check them out. Um, as mentioned there as well, there's also Calvert-Lewin talks that are trying to progress, but Everton wanting silly money for him. There's talks of 40, 50, even 60 million for Calvert-Lewin. Bonkers. But, you know, talks are ongoing with numerous attacking options for Newcastle. They're going to be patient with it now. There's no real rush. They're in pre-season now. Eddie Howe can have a look at the lads. And the main thing as well, I mean, it's getting out going sorted. There's a lot of players need to get off the books on, on big wages, like Jeff Hendrick, Dwight Gale. You know what I mean? Darlow's linked to going to the championship. So there's, there's, there's fringe players we need to get rid of as well. Yeah, there's a lot of players out going, but if we can get Diaby as one of the ingoings, unbelievable. Absolutely unreal signing. If that one happens, man, I just... Wouldn't that redeem yourself?
absolutely over the moon if we get Diaby in. Let us know your thoughts are with the Musa Diaby links to Newcastle. Can you see it happening? Will we pay £60 million for the young French winger? Pop your comments below, smash that like button, subscribe, and enjoy yourself.